out and thank you for clicking on this video guys the family is growing please 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 subscribe and join the family so today as you read from the title it's going to be a quick foolproof mkate wasini recipe i know i know most of you like have tried doing mkate wasini but always always kuna zile you know here and there you 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 have hiccups you know you mess up here and there mara ushato kya sima mara it's like you know it never comes out right so with this mkate wasini recipe guys if you stick by what i'm going to tell you today on this video definitely you're going to be getting constant results and a yummy soft mkate wasini guys if you don't know what mkate wasini is this is a famous rice cake is it a rice cake a traditional swahili rice cake or a rice bread but it's just made with rice guys let's get into it i don't want too much too much because mimi me, when i go to youtube and look for like recipe videos i usually look for those which are the shortest so i'm gonna try to make this very short and sweet let's get to it wewe. these are the ingredients here most of the magic is gonna happen in a jug a blender jug like this so uh-huh so what we have here is a glass of soaked rice this is basmati rice that i use mtelo fatma i soaked it in water overnight there it is so it's kind of soft now mm -hmm. and the same same size of the glass ni make a tui this is coconut milk same glass that i used to measure this one cup of one glass of rice it's the same glass i used to measure this one cup of coconut milk guys rice and milk needs to be the same say it with me rice and milk need to be the same okay if you have 10 cups of rice that means 10 cups of milk halika dalika then for the sugar i go with uh, this amount but you can uh, go with whatever you like if you like it too sweet you can add more if you like it less yeah and this is cardamom one tablespoon and one tablespoon of good old yeast let's mix everything in the jar so i'm going to mix everything here first sugar so as i told you i'm gonna mix everything here okay give it a good mix so this is my mixture of mchele. I haven't yet blended it. I'm going to blend half, nusu nusu, half, and then I blend the other half because my jug is too small. But if you have one big jug, you're good to go. definitely tried several recipes before like a lot of mkatiwa senior recipes and they have flopped so i went through the suffering so that you don't have to go through the suffering try this recipe guys i'm telling you it's foolproof if you keep doing what i just did constantly practice makes perfect by the way you you're gonna get the same result each time don't complicate this keep things simple so i'm just gonna cover this for 30 minutes or so and then I'll see you then. We'll be ready to cook it. I can't say bake it, but cook it. So I give my mixture a bit of a stir. I don't over stir it, just a bit of it. And then I put my thick sufuria on the fire. Make sure the fire is on high add some oil and spread it all over the saucepan and make sure guys the sufuria is thick pour in your mixture on the hot pan make sure the pan is hot guys that's what you want to hear and then immediately immediately turn down your heat like that I want to let you in uh, on a little thing that I do. 
I'm not sure if everybody does this. Like in when I put my mkate wa sinia on the stove, guys, niko hapo Bennett, I never leave the side of that mkate wa sinia. I never leave the mkate wa sinia unattended. Why? Because you see the stove usually just directs the heat in the middle of the saucepan. So I feel like I need to be there to like distribute the heat all over. Otherwise the thing will just burn, you know? So yeah, that's me, Madam DJ, doing my spinning here. So I stand by there and always check on the bread until I notice that there is no more running or liquid bits on the bread and there's a beautiful golden ring that has formed around uh, the bread and immediately guys I put it in the oven which I have only put on the top part because I wanted to get that red mkatiwa senior color on top so yeah I'm gonna pop it in the oven for like a few minutes so it's been around three minutes, only five minutes. Ooh, I like the color already. So at this point, while it's still hot, I'm going to go ahead and just brush some thick coconut milk on top of it. Yeah, just to give it that softness. <laughs> Guys, it's a few hours later. I stepped out. I went to the market to do some shopping. You are in Azawa. The sun is setting. We are losing the light. So yeah. This is what what we're looking like right now. So my mkata senior is completely cooled. So this is what I used to like scrape the sides to remove it from the to remove it from the, the to detach it from the sufuria from the saucepan. And now that it has cooled, it's so easy. Like you see that? Next step, I go in with my fingers. Mm -hmm. I lift it off from the sufuria. Okay, it has a bit of a, like a burnt thing, but that's fine. It's to be expected. Like any guys, the jiggliness. The jiggliness. So guys, this is our Kato Senior. The moment of truth. We need to cut it open. I hope you're going to try it. If you're going to try it out, please give me a thumbs up and yeah, comment down below. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.